Hello. In this short video, I will show you how easy it is to connect to a private subnet using the Bastion host. Now, first thing that I'm going to do is to create a compute instance. I'm going to place it in an existing private subnet and from there I will go and connect uh, to it using the Bastion service. So, this is going to be a Linux VM. I'm going to leave Oracle Linux 8. I can leave it in there or can you change the the shape and the image the shape i'll leave it also one ocpu and 16 gb of ram i will select an existing vcn i will select a private subnet as you can see do not assign a public ip address it's automatically i will upload my public key so i'll be able to ssh to this machine and i will go to show advanced options i will click on oracle cloud agent and I will enable this Bastion service even before the creation of um, yeah, the Bastion and all the other things. So I'll click create. Now in the backend, the instances is created. Now I'll go to identity and security. I'll click on the Bastion. In here, I will create a new Bastion service. I will leave the name as it is. I will put it in the same VCN as the um, instance that I created. I will target the private subnet in here. The cider block that you see here is the one from where you are allowed to connect. So I'll, in my case, I'll put everything because I will delete it soon. But in your case, you need to be careful what IPs you're going to put in there. Usually you should put your own um, data center IP or home IP. Okay, so I'll click create uh, Bastion. Now Bastion host it is in creation state. Now, if I go back to the instances in here, my Linux VM is up and running. I have an IP address in here generated. But if I go down and I'm looking at the Oracle Cloud Agent, I need to see that the Bastion service is up and running. So it's still running some scripts in the backend. So we need to wait a little bit more before starting uh, using the Bastion service. Okay, now until this one it is finishing, I'll go back to the Bastion to see if the Bastion itself was provisioned. It's still in creating state, so it takes around one minute to two minutes, yeah, something like that. If I go to an existing Bastion uh, service already created, yeah, I can create the same ser uh, session, yeah, because I'm also pointing to the same private subnet, same uh, VCN. So we can try with this. I don't think it's going to work because the, the plugin is not yet enabled, but let's give it a try. The user for that instance, because it's Oracle Enterprise Linux, is going to be OPC. The instance, I'm able to see the Linux VM in here, so I'll try to connect to it. I need also another uh, RSA key. Yeah, uh, I will use the same one that I use for the machine. And I will click Create Session. Now, because the best in plugin is not the running state and it gave me an error so let's wait a little bit more i will put it on pause yes i will not wait with me so as you can see the bastion uh, plugin it's running now so i'll go back to the identity and security to the bastion service even my latest bastion it is uh, up and running so i'll click create session leave the same session name i don't care about it at this point and in here i name use the opc user select the instance i can generate a new key but i will select an existing one okay and i'll click create session also this step takes around uh, 30 seconds at least so i will pause it again until it is in from changing from creating to active Okay, so now it is active. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on the three dots at the end. I can view the commands, but uh, what I need, I can copy them directly from there or I can copy it simple from here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a text editor. Uh, and in here, yeah, I can put it um, in the text editor. I can create a new file. 
and I will put it in here. What you did that? You see, uh, did this? You know, it is the minus side that is needs to specify the path to the private key. Uh, my private key will be taken automatically, so that's why I needed to delete that part. So now I copied the right um, text from there. I will paste it in browser, in browser, and in terminal. I will press enter. And as you can see, it's asking me if I'm okay with this key. I will say yes. And as you can see, I'm connecting to the Linux VM in a very safe way. And very, very simple. Thank you. And see you on next video.